Fast start, test complete, module one. Getting started, key components, and a quick look at the test complete IDE. Test complete's integrated development environment is split into two key areas. One, the project workspace, where we'll have all of our test automation artifacts that go together to make up our automated test project. Second area is the object browser, and this you can think of as Test Complete's view of your system and your application that you are automating. Let's look at each of these areas in a little more detail. The project workspace first. This is where we'll see all of our test automation project artifacts, and when we create a new project suite, and a project suite you can think of as a container for projects, and each project will contain a number of artifacts that go together to make up a specific aspect of your test automation. So we create a project suite, and a project suite then contains one or more test automation projects. We'll create our first test project called Test Project 1, and you'll see this project under the Test Project Suite node. And under that test project node, we have all of the artifacts going together to make up this project. Those artifacts, or as we call them, test items, when we double click on those, they open up in the workspace area over on the right hand side. So for example, if I double click on tested apps, the tested apps workspace opens, and I can add, delete, and work with my tested apps. So if we take the Project Explorer area and we work through each of these test items, the first test item then is the project itself. Double click on this and the Test Project Workspace opens. And in the Test Project Workspace, as we'll see later, you can add test items and you can list all of the test items that you want to execute as part of this project. We have an Advanced folder and in here we'll add our script units. So this is our tests that we write in script languages like Python, um, VB, and JScript. We have our keyword tests. So this is the other main type of test we can create in Test Complete. And those tests are a graphical drag and drop approach or recording approach to creating our automated tests. And we can, for example, add a, add a test step here against a calculator application we might be testing. And as we define the steps that we're going to carry out against that particular test application, those test steps are listed in this test or keyword test workspace area. We'll look at this in more detail in the following module. Next item in the list then is the name map. And we'll talk a lot more about the name map. And you can think of this as a list of the objects in your application under test that you're going to interact with when you create your automated tests. Next we have the stores and you can consider the stores area as a repository for all sorts of other artifacts you need as part of your test project. So they might be connections to databases, they might be images you need to do comparisons against, they might be XML files that you need to do comparisons against. All of those artifacts will be contained in the stores node within your test project. And the final area then, as we've already seen, is the tested apps. And this is a list of the applications that you want to focus on as part of your test project. So that just quickly is the project workspace. The other key area to test complete then is the object browser. And this is test complete view of our system. It's very similar to task manager in Windows and it's basically a list of all the processes and objects that go to make up those processes that test complete can see on your system. So in this example again we have a calc plus application and you can see that calc plus application listed in the object browser and we can drill down and look at the other components or objects that go to make up that particular application. And they consist in this example of a number of window objects 
and as you can see here some of those are the particular buttons on the application so uh, as well as showing you all of the objects that make up part of an application and the hierarchy it will also list all of the properties and methods associated with those particular objects so in this case we've got the division button and that division button has a number of properties or aspects if you like for example the caption on that particular button is the division side and methods which you can think of as the actions that that particular object can carry out so for example on a button you'd expect to see a click action so that you can click that button in the next module we'll look at creating our first keyword test and we'll learn a little bit more about building those tests in the project workspace as we build out our keyword tests and the test steps associated with those keyword tests.